Hey, so in this video, we will see uh, a couple of functions that the Django RM provide us. And they are exist, or you can read more about them, and other like very good functions in this uh, part of the documentation, the database functions. And I'm going to focus on the date, time functions. I think they are really interesting, and they have like so many. Uh, they are all good. But I'm going to just focus on that, and at the same time, I'm going to show you how we can do group by. So, yeah, that's basically it. So let me come uh, here. Just just start the server. Make sure you have your virtual environment activated. Uh, just like always, I'm gonna put the queries in the URLs. I think you can like this see them uh, all here. Uh, it will be easier for you to keep like a point of reference here. So, just to start, the first query. Uh, get the posts that have been created in 2015 or later. Okay. Um, so I'm going to create a path. Oh, don't forget the comma here. And I'm going to use the list API view as well. Now the name will be like this. Now the query set, I will query set will be equal to post dot objects um, dot annotate. I'm gonna create an extra column uh, in the returned result called the created uh, at year. So I'm gonna extract the created at date time and get the year. To do this, I'm gonna import from Django DB models functions import extract year. By the way, if you click control or command and just go click on this, or sorry, click on the functions uh, token, you will see this is all the functions that we can get uh, from Django. Also, the documentation works, but yeah. But here they are grouped, grouped by math, text. Uh, we have also window functions. Maybe I will do some video about them. I actually just discovered that. So uh, now, since I imported the extract year, I'm going to extract the year from the create created add column. And just remember, in our post, it extends the base model, which contains the created add date time field. And after you do that, let's now filter on this newly created column using the annotate. And that should be equal or and two underscores greater than or equal 2015 then i'm gonna do prefetch related user uh, i'm just gonna do this because i'm gonna use uh, this serializer the same one and i don't want to like cause the serializer to do extra queries for me i already went through that and why that could be a problem i'll just create a new uh, serializer so posts querying dates part one so this is the result now let's look at the queries i highly recommend that you always actually uh, check this part out and this is for getting the count and this is actual like query so it converted like this is the annotate part in our rm query and this is the where statement the filter part so our created at is bigger than this date time and it's really nice um yeah i think i think this syntax is uh good enough the syntax like the, 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 the i'm talking about the query set it's fine so now the second query let me get out the comment now things will be much more interesting get the post that have been created in 2021 at the first day of each month so only get the post again only get the post that have been created in 2021 and only in the first day of any month of the year so I'm going to copy this out just to save some time. And I'm going to remove everything in the query set. So I'm going to start by post. Or I'm going to change this to 2 and the name to 2. Now post.objects.annotate. I'm going to create two extra columns. The first one is the created at year. This is the same one. The second one is the 
extract day function or they are classes but extract day are class i'm gonna call this column created at day extract day also from the created at uh, column now i'm gonna do a filter on that uh, i think you got it or i think you got what i am trying to do so where the date is equal to 2021 and by default when you add multiple like filters here or multiple uh, parameters sorry these the, like the condition between them will be and we went through how to create or 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 not in the previous videos and here i'm gonna say where created add day will be equal to one uh, i'm gonna do prefetch related user just for the serializer if you look at it you'll see we have this user and it will go and use the serializer i don't want it to like fetch that uh, so let's actually look at this so change this to two so the query like we don't have data because i think we don't have any posts that have been created at the first day of any month in 2021 but you can see here that we are extracting the day from that created at date time and we are filtering where the day is equal to one. Uh, I know my data in my database, so I know this should be 17 just to get some data, okay? But the idea is the same, so I'm getting only uh, the posts that have been created on the 17th day of any month in 2021. Uh, I hope it's clear. So yeah, and these are the queries. This is for the count, this is the actual query, this is for getting the users. Uh, like Django, we went already over this. Django won't actually sometimes do a join. It will do it a separate a separate query and then join the data on the app layer. Uh, I think it's fine, but I'm pretty sure they have a good reason for that. So now the third query, I think this is the most interesting one. And let me write the comment here. I'm going to increase the font for you. So retain the count of posts grouped by day. Uh, I'm going to copy this now. Add it here. I'm going to call it query that's a three um yeah like this this is the starting point so i'm gonna actually annotate now or add an extra column in the result called created day this will be extract day from the created at column um, then i'm gonna group by so values means group by i'm gonna group by created day then i'm gonna actually count uh, each post based on like after grouping by okay now let's uh, another annotate i mean the order matters right so first thing i'm creating this extra column then i'm gonna group by and count uh, based on that extra column that i introduced so i'm gonna add count will be equal to the count uh, class and you need to import that from here I think we already did that, but from Django DB models. And I'm gonna just count the IDs. That will work in our case. Uh, now prefetch related, or you don't actually need to prefetch the related users. Uh, yeah, but actually this will introduce an error, and let's actually go and see that. Maybe first I'm gonna add like we don't need a pagination class class right. Just in, yeah, at least for this example we don't need it. But let's go and uh, refresh here. I think we are having some errors. So yeah, cannot resolve keyword created at into field choices, I think. Yeah, sorry, this is a typo. This is a different error. So I'll run the server again. Now here we should see an error. Uh, this error comes from the serializer. So it tells us got key error when attempted to get value from for field body on serializer. Uh, post with user serializer. This is because if, actually, if you go down, you will see the local vars. It tries to like serialize. Um, yeah, and it actually tries to serialize this count is this, and the created day is 17. So we have these like 21,000 posts created in the 17th day of the month. Uh, I actually run the, the seed command so many times that day. But yeah, this is the like the instance it, it tries to serialize. So this tells us that we need to change the serializer. So let's actually come here and change that uh, to a different thing. 
So I'm gonna come here down. So I'm gonna create a serializer class called post group by created day serializer. And I'm gonna import just the serializer class from the Django REST framework. I'm gonna extend it. I'm gonna add count will be equal to an integer. So let's actually come here and put them like this. Uh, the integer field. I'm gonna use it here. And also the created day will be equal to integer field. And just like that, we need to import it here and just use it now. I will go through the query one more time just to make sure uh, you get it. But this is it. We have now a list of all the data or all the posts counts a group by day. Uh, I actually run this today. So we have 30 posts, posts that have been created on the 20th day, no matter the date are. Uh, we can actually like we do something much more complex. We can filter based on the year, right? We know how to extract uh, the year, so we can get it and filter on it. So I think I could just do this. So now I'm gonna filter before that. So filter where a created year is equal to 2021. I mean, it defeats the purpose because it will give us the same result, right? But I'm just showing you that we can filter. So you can filter and group by on a specific, uh, like, date time. Um, if you know SQL, this is obvious, but uh, just in case. So this is the query generated. So we are extracting the day as a created day. This is the annotate, and this is the count f uh, function that we use uh, from post, where the created at is between these two timestamps. Um, this is like, I noticed this will happen when you type something like this. Uh, it will convert them to between. Do they have between? Uh, I think not, but you can actually implement it if you think about it, right? Uh, you can type where created at year is maybe greater than or equal. And great, created at year uh, maybe less than or equal a specific value. So you can do that. Uh, it will be converted into between, even if not have been converted into a between. Using a Q objects, you can actually create or filters or anything. But yeah, just back to my uh, example. So this is the result. And let's go over the query one more time, just to make sure you, you get it. Um, yeah, so we have, we annotated, let's, let me move this and also this. So this is the original one. We annotated the query or the returned result use, use with a created day column and we extracted the day. Then we grouped by this extra new column we have. Then we used annotate again to count the values. So we grouped by day from the created at date time and the, when we counted each post after grouping by. Uh, which is very nice and this then we created this serializer to just serialize the data so this is it uh, i hope it was useful and bye